Uh, I think that's that then. Matty is on the other side. Yeah, they can they can get going finally. A little a little bit later than normal. Only only nine minutes off of the start time. We will finally have the start to this winners round one match between Keep It Real Team Aku Aku. Obviously, like I said, Keep It Real coming into this as the highest seed. They have a lot of expectation on well in this first game because they wouldn't. They would look terrible coming into this with immediately lost. They actually might have a quick chance here, and they will. Monchi, not six seconds in. Finds the back of the net. Matty gets the touch he needs off the ceiling shot. And already, such little time has passed. And keep it real, already find themselves one up. Team Aku Aku will be forced to come back as a chance now. Here. Oh my goodness, already! 18 seconds into this matchup. Keep it real, and Aku Aku already draw level once again. After a sublime play coming out and Gary's shot perfect enough wasn't the best of strikes albeit perhaps could have been saved even but it was enough to find space to the back of the net and we will have a tied game now it's the middle Matty surely not surely not 31 seconds in goal number three we're averaging about a goal every 10 seconds now ladies and gentlemen we have already seen three goals and we barely just got underway it's again Matty being vital the scoring of this goal keep it real already offensively minded already finding themselves with two goals that's again for Matty oh my goodness unrelenting pressure off of the mistake there that is an interesting name to say. How am I saying that one? Rupa Kelly. Uh, I'm just going to say Rupa. I hope that's okay. I'm just going to be saying Rupa for that one. Rupa's mistake passing that into the midfield. Gifts Massey on a silver platter or a simple shot. And he will capitalize. 3-1. Gaining that two-goal cushion. The teams love to have. He's only one goal up. Honestly, it's all sort of play for. But they will get placed into position. Where yet again, they're only one goal up. As this time, Thiago finds the back of the net. We're not even a minute in. So it's game one. And there's been five goals in this series. Some series that are best of five don't even see that many goals throughout. But this to be this absurd is just absolutely unheard of as Mochi tries to get us in. Surely not. Oh my goodness, the pinch from Jerk there with Gary. Just about keeping it out. Keep his team within one. Both teams perhaps clearly maybe more offensively minded. Both teams maybe having the defense let them down. Has another chance coming out here. Oh my goodness, surely not Monchi! Hits it into Chuck! <laughs> Resulting in the... What is going on this series? Rupert hits it forward. Jerk ends up scoring an own goal off of Monchi's pass into him. 3 minutes 20 seconds on the clock and it is 3-3 in game 1. Both teams providing just attack after attack. Neither team having a very strong or formidable defense, surely. Very, very strange start to this series. As the main takeaway so far is both teams... Need to have a more secure defensive back line. Oh my, I, 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 what do I even say at this point? How do I cast this? 4-3. 2 minutes 54 on the clock. Matty, I believe, now gets his hat trick. And we still have over half, well over half the game to be played. 7 goals now here on Beckwith Park. Mochi. I clear that out now. Jerk will find himself up for it. Can't get a better touch. Just slow it down. That will allow Thiago. Clear that out. Matian tries to keep it going. Roof a little bit awkward. A bit of a double commit there. Jerk can't get the shot that he would have liked to. Thiago now should be first of the ball. Pinched with by Jerk. And now Matian can't get a touch. Rupert 
that with a simple tap at the end as Gary takes control on the backboard, gets it past one. Down to get the boost chance here for Team Aku Aku, who I must say I love the name. I'm assuming, or at least I'm hoping, that it's a reference to the, the character from Crash Bandicoot, Aku Aku, uh, who, you know, it, it's a bit of an old school reference, but it's, it's one that I sincerely enjoy uh, if it actually is meant to be referencing that. I obviously played, uh, I played Crash Bandicoot on the uh, PS2, I played Wrath of Cortex, which actually isn't one of the better ones, but, you know, we, we look past that, because I still enjoyed it at the time. Another chance here for Keep It Real, Aku Aku cannot provide the defence needed to keep these goals out. Goal number eight now, and Keep It Real will find their fifth. Not a lot separating these, so I'd argue keep it real, maybe seems slightly more mechanical, seems slightly stronger, maybe on their offense, maybe, oh my god, goal number nine, Monchi now I think gets a hat-trick, oh no, sorry, Matin has four, Monchi has two, come on jerk, you have 72 points, you need to get on the scoreboard here, <laughs> clearly the pressure of coming into this as top seed isn't Weighing too much down on Keep It Real, finding six goals already in game one, still a minute 20. If it's to continue like this, we'll easily have, well, I don't know, 15 by the time this game ends. I'm already tired from a previous casting job earlier today. Matthew will have to get back to this, posts himself. Rupa keeps the team alive for Team Aku Aku. It's 6 4. Goal number 10. Jerk. There's this out for Matty, you can't quite get it past the likes of Gary. Jerk, a little bit awkward here. Rupert can only do much as get a 50. Monchi. A little bit of a rough pass to the middle. Jerk actually can't end up getting the touch to it. Not really seen much of Jerk as of yet this game. Obviously, it is important to remember that he is a substitute. So, Juice, the initial third man for this roster, perhaps would have been a much stronger player. Nothing against Jerk, but he hasn't really influenced his as of yet. And I say that, a decent-ish shot coming out. A great save from Gary to keep his team in. But with only 30 seconds remaining, it's looking like Keep It Real will be taking game one. Massey. Well, for this one. Double tap can't actually get the best of touches for it. Gary. Vital last chance here. It's the clock. is running down. Time is running out for Aku Aku if they want to take game one. Matty keeps it in the orange half. Tiago will not be able to get a clinch. Jerk is there before him. The clock ticks down. It won't be possible for Team Aku Aku. And after one of the most bombastic games I've perhaps seen, it will be the top seed who takes the first goal. Uh, take the first goal? I mean, they did take the first goal, but they take the first game as well. The game we've just seen. Quite the number of chances and quite the number of goals, it must be said. Both teams going into this having sort of left a lot to be desired of their defensive work. Aku Aku coming out a bit on the worse as the lower seed. Keep it real, proving why their seed is so high. Clearly quite a bit more mechanical, maybe a bit stronger with their shooting. But both teams, honestly, questions need to be asked of them of why their defences were so weak to allow 10 goals to be the finishing number at the end of that. Double tap here, cleared out convincingly by Rupa. Matty and is up for it though. Plenty of boost goes to the flip reset. Interrupted by Rupa before anything could come of that. Jerk. But over to the side, Monchi. My goodness, trying here off the wall. That won't work out, but it will work out for for Matty, who can't quite get the best of touches. Gary clears it out. That's a scenario here where maybe Team Akuaku, because they did come out of the last game with fewer goals, arguably them need to focus on having a stronger defense more. Because, I mean, keep it real, just seems to be able to pelt shot after shot and score a great majority of them too. It must be said that I guess in terms of who needs to make sure they have a strong defense more, I'd argue it needs to be Team Aku Aku. 
keep it real, however, as well, do need to be sure that they're not scoring four, uh, conceding four goals, even if they are able to score quite a few, and more than their opponent. A bit of a quiet game so far. Keep it real, have arguably had more offensive pressure, a chance here now, Jerk hops to go for the bump, and Rupa could have had a simple clearance! Is this the ascended tier or the amateur tier? Rupa! Arguably really should have dealt with that better. Couldn't get the, necess the necessary clearance. And in the end, after an arguably much quieter start to game two, in which I've just realised I've forgotten to change the map. <laughs> it will be... Oh, no, nah, yeah, I was going to say it will be 1-0 to keep it real. It will actually be 2-0 as Mochi finds his groove as Jerk actually up to go for the flip reset there. Daga couldn't do much with it. Keep it real seems to be running away from this. Keep it real coming as this as the favourite. She would expect them to win. You can see strange thing happens. Uh, strange things happen near yeah, top seed and lower seed. Things that you expect to see just because how the nerves can affect the gameplay. Keep it real. Have managed to keep their cool though. Yet to concede so far in game two. But then there's been no real offensive pressure from Aku Aku. They haven't really been able to get anything all too threatening going. Offensive mistake from Tiago meaning they couldn't quite... Keep them within ones. Another chance coming out for Monchi. Gary looks awkward, but did manage to keep it out. Rupert is up for it, but not before Jerk, who will get a goal. I think that might be his first actual goal of the series, if I'm not mistaken. Despite the fact that there has been a total of 13, and nine of those goals have been for Keep It Real. Matty can't get a touch here. Maybe a chance here for Akuaki. First real one of the day of the game, sorry, but Gary unable to do much with it. Tiago now trying to keep it up. But flick it. Gary now. Trying to take it off Matty and can't get a pass. The likes of Jerk. Tiago opts to back out of that one. Leaves it for Boo. Actually, himself doesn't have much boost. It's Gary, a shot coming out here. And if that's literally so little offensive pressure. As of yet, from Aku Aku, and yet Gary seems to be quite the sharp shooter. When he has had chances to take shots, he has capitalised on them excellently. Brings his team within two, it's still not a comfortable position to be in, but it's certainly possible, as now, my goodness, Monchi just about able to get the save. I thought for sure he had been bumped out there. I think perhaps he had been bumped out there, but he was in the end able to about touch it. Chance here now for Rupa. Not the most power on it. He needed more power, Rupa. Unable to do much. Monchi able to get back and make the save. Aku Aku shooting themselves in the foot now. Really should be 3 2. Rupa. Just the back will press the layer of Tiago. Rupa will actually be forced to get back. Matty and shot just about. Good power, not enough to the left to prevent the goal. Gary, who'd pre-jump there, Monchi's hit. Does get the save to keep his team alive in game two. How long can Team Aku Aku continuously just survive shot after shot from Keep It Real? Not been as emphatic a game in terms of the amount of goals as we saw in game one. But alas, Keep It Real have found four. And it has been strong for them as Matian will put the dagger in the heart of the hopes for game two victory for Team Aku Aku. 4 1. It's not entirely over granted. I mean, three goals in 52 seconds? It's, it's entirely doable. Given Keeper Rhythm playing very well here, even if their defense has been a little bit subpar. I very much doubt Aku Aku will be looking to be able to take this. They'll be just looking to regain. Looking to hopefully not get reverse swept going into game three, which I will try and remember to put on Neo Tokyo this time. Gary up for this decent touch. A relatively simple for Mochi though. Hits over to Rupa though. And then the save not coming out from Jerk. 24 seconds remaining. Is it possible? For Team Aku Aku. 
not to lose this game two scenario. I'd unfortunately say the keeper real still off the edge here. Two goals, 24 seconds. It's doable. But so strange, it's almost like we have a team of keep it real. Only really been looking for people who can shoot. Because my goodness, can they? They do have a lot of offensive skill on their side. But their defense just isn't strong enough. And against the lowest seed, maybe it'll work out for you. But I think going into the rest of this tournament, they genuinely need to worry. Oh my goodness, I thought Matthew was going to get a pancake then. Right. They will gave out oh, five. Yep. Yeah. Gary clearly annoyed with the quick chats. I'm pretty sure quick chatting isn't against the rules, but I mean, you know, I'm I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> yeah, honestly, as I was saying, keep it real. It's it's not a bad start for them. Obviously, it's a great start for them. They they are. Taking these games, they are in a position where they're looking to reverse, uh, sorry, to sweep here, and that's a good sign, right? That is a great sign if they can get an early sweep to boost their confidence going into the next round. But I genuinely, I, I, I'm not entirely sure how the, uh, obviously, how the rest of the teams are going to be looking like in this. But if the ascended tier is anywhere near as competitive as perhaps it's been in previous iterations of side tourneys, I don't think. The defense to keep it real is enough to keep them alive, even if their offense is strong. But you need to have a good mixture of both to really have a strong Rocket League side. I think keep it real could get far, but their defense, I do believe, needs to improve slightly if they're actually looking to win this, which they should be as the top seed. Fonchi wants to end this as soon as possible. A great dunk from Jerk off of Rupa. Fonchi finds it on the line and brings his team within inches of glory in round one. A bit of a scramble to get that out to keep it real defense. It does work out in the end though. Rupert actually opting to pass it back. A little bit awkward there. Rupert, oh no! Bunchy finds a brace. Not even a minute in. Rupert looking to pass it back to Gary. But the pass was not exemplary. He's practically set up his team to fail there. And keep it real. Now 2-0. No, surely not. No, it's, it's practically over Team Aku Aku in this round one. Never say never is what I like to say. But I think keep it real might just be a different level to them. Going into this, I had hopes after game one, you know, have a close series here as 10 goals coming out and oh my goodness, it's utter decimation here from Keep It Real. We'll see shot after shot and this time they actually are practically scoring every single attempt they have. Four goals now within the first minute for the blue side. Aku Aku just can't respond unfortunately. Unable to find anything really all that threatening. They haven't really had a single threatening attack here in game three. Real just running away with it. Actually, this might be a chance here. Gary's shot, not quite enough power, nor quite enough accuracy into a corner. Find its way past the defense. You're cooking here from Keep It Real. Surely not. Oh, it's disgusting! They're playing with their food at this point. Utterly disgusting. You'd think Massey's going to shoot it there. No, he passes back to Jerk. And then Monchi actually steals that away to make it 5 0. Got to say, a brilliant passing play there. For Keep it real. They already know they've won. The confidence is oozing from them there. You think Massey and probably could have just slammed it in himself. Opted to keep the passing play going. And look at that, Jerk was up there. God, they're going for blimming clips at this point. Aku Aku just cannot respond to the chance of Thiago. The shot, not enough to get past Matian. Once he comes in with the demo, Rupert actually with a chance here. Can he put the shot on it? Wasn't the best of collections with it. But he does find the back of the net. Four goals in 2 minutes 59. It is doable. Like I say, keep it real. I expect them to keep the lead. Aku Aku 
will most likely have to make a lower bracket run. Perhaps to form me a Cloud9 Season 6 kind of scenario. Keep it Reels offense has just been far too much for them to handle. With half the game remaining, it would take a bit of a miracle here for Aku Aku. They'd have to come up with one of the best reverse sweeps you'd probably ever see. Matty and now going up for this, and yeah, in the open net, almost actually doesn't find the back of the net. The post almost denying him a sixth goal. Keep it real, we'll be looking to find the Brazil here in game three. Finds the hit from Cooper. Get the reset. Yes, he does. Does he get the other reset? Oh my goodness. Yes, he does. But that probably, honestly, would have probably been goal of the tournament. Straight off the bat. Right there. Goal of the tournament there from Monchi. If he had, a if he was able to pull a double reset. Wasn't quite there for him, unfortunately. I'm sure he won't mind all that much because it is looking like maybe 7-1. Monchi passed it into the middle. No one quite there for the pre-jump coming out, I think, maybe, from Matty. Jerk 50s that well into the middle. Gary's up for it first, but with only a minute and 36 seconds remaining. The Makuaku haven't been able to apply the pressure in the blue half that they needed to in order to keep themselves alive in the winner's bracket. Not been the best of series for them, but that, I mean, you can't really blame them all too much. They are against the highest seed. It's a tough one to face. But they need to they need to keep their heads high going into the lowest bracket. So they can't let this get them down. Only hit it as far as Rupert. Double tap now made for Rupert. He will find connection with this. It wasn't very powerful. It didn't need to be very powerful. And again, four goals and 55. It's doable. It's certainly doable. But I don't see it happening for Team Aku Aku. Munchie. Going for maybe a pinch here. No, actually just opposite over the bounce shot. Matian is up for it. Gary. Exemplary clearance there. Munchie not able to get the touch with Rupert. Will actually get a shot saved by Jerk. Despite having the lead that they have. They're not letting up. Not allowing any kind of rebuttal from Team Aku Aku. The defense from Keep It Real still not exactly the strongest thing I've ever seen, but it has seemed to be stronger during Game 3, but I'd argue they also have faced less offensive attacks. Team Aku Aku, I, I think, have probably, to an extent, given up. As the clock trickles down to the 10-second countdown, one last chance for a goal, maybe, from Team Aku Aku. The ball still in the blue half. Jerk able to get a clearance here. Gary maybe can get into the middle. Can't really get a connection with it. The clock hits zero. And a series, you must say, was a convincing win for Keep It Real. Sweeping the lowest seed all the way down to the loser's bracket. Just go into the Discord now to report. Oh, actually, no, that's good Discord to report the score. We have a handy little thing. Start.gg <laughs> Meaning I can go keep it real Oh For uh, against team Aku Aku Quite the number of chances and quite the number of goals it must be said Both teams going into this having Sort of left a lot to be desired of their defensive work Aku Aku coming out of it on the worst as the lower seed. Keep it real, proving why their seed is so high. Clearly quite a bit more mechanical, maybe a bit stronger with their shooting. But both teams, honestly, questions need to be asked of them of why their defences were so weak to allow 10 goals to be the finishing number at the end of that. Hey. 
Double tap here, cleared out convincingly by Rupa. Matian is up for it though. Plenty of boost goes to the flip reset. Interrupted by Rupa before anything could come of that. Jerk. But over to the side, Monchi. My goodness, try here off the wall. It won't work out, but it will work out for Grenadine for Matali, who can't quite get the best of touches. Gary clears it out. That's a scenario here where maybe Team Akuaku, because they did come out of the last game with fewer goals, arguably them need to focus on having a stronger defense more. Because, I mean, keep it real, just seems to be able to pelt shot after shot and score a great majority of them too. It must be said that I guess in terms of who needs to make sure they have a strong defense more, I'd argue it needs to be Team Akuaku. Keep it real, however, as well, do need to make sure that they're not scoring four, uh, conceding four goals, even if they are able to score quite a few and more than their opponent a bit of a quiet game so far keep it real have arguably had more offensive pressure a chance here now jerk off to go for the bump and Rupa could have had a simple clearance is this the ascended tier or the amateur tier Rupa arguably really should have dealt with that better couldn't get the, necess the necessary clearance and in the end after an arguably much quieter start to game two, in which I've just realized I've forgotten to change the map. <laughs> it will be, oh no, I was gonna say it will be one nil to keep it real. It will actually be two nil as Mochi finds his groove as Jerk actually up to go for the flip reset there. Jerk couldn't do much with it. Keep it real, seems to be running away from this. Real come as this as the favourite. She would expect them to win. You can see strange thing happens. Uh, strange things happen near top seed and lower seed. Things that you expect to see just how the nerves can affect the gameplay. Keep it real. Have managed to keep their cool though. Yet to concede so far in game two. But then there's been no real offensive pressure from Aku Aku. They haven't really been able to get anything all too threatening going. Offensive mistake from Tiago, meaning they couldn't quite. Keep them within ones. Another chance came out for Monchi. Gary looks awkward, but did manage to keep it out. Rupa is up for it, but not before Jerk. Who will get a goal? I think that might be his first actual goal of the series, if I'm not mistaken. Despite the fact that there has been a total of 13, and nine of those goals have been for keep it real. Matty can't get a touch here. Maybe a chance here for Akuaki. First real one on the day of the game, sorry, but Gary unable to do much with it. Tiago now trying to keep it up. But flick it. Gary now. Trying to take it off Matty and can't get a pass. The likes of Jerk. Tiago opts to back out of that one. Leaves it for Boo. Actually, himself doesn't have much boost. It's Gary, a shot coming out here. And it, that's literally so little offensive pressure. As of yet, from Aku Aku, and yet Gary seems to be quite the sharp shooter. When he has had chances to take shots, he has capitalized on them excellently. Brings his team within two. It's still not a comfortable position to be in, but it's certainly possible. As now, my goodness, Monchi just about able to get the save. I thought for sure he had been bumped out there. I think perhaps he had been bumped out there, but he was in the end able to about touch it. Chance here now for Rupa. Not the most power on it. He needed more power, Rupa. Unable to do much. Monchi able to get back and make the save. Aku Aku shooting themselves in the foot now. Really should be 3 2. Rupa. Just the back will try to lay it up Tiago. Rupa will actually be forced to get back. Matty and shot just about. Good power, not enough to the left to prevent the goal. Gary, who'd pre-jump there, Monchi's hit. Does get the save to keep his team alive in game two. How long can Team Akuaku continuously just survive shot after shot from Keep It Real? Not been as emphatic a game in terms of the amount of goals as we saw in game one. But alas, Keep It Real have found four. And it has been strong for them as Matian will put the dagger in the heart of the hopes for game two victory for Team Aku Aku.
four one. It's not entirely over granted. I mean, three goals in fifty two seconds. It's it's entirely doable. Given keeper Redmond playing very well here, even if their defense has been a little bit subpar, I very much doubt Aku Aku will be looking to be able to take this. They'll be just looking to regain. Looking to hopefully not get reverse swept going into game three, which I will try and remember to put on Neo Tokyo this time. Gary up for this decent touch. Should be a relatively simple finish for Mochi though. Hits over to Rupa though. And then the save not coming out from Jerk. 24 seconds remaining. Is it possible for Team Aku Aku not to lose this game two scenario? I'd unfortunately say the keep it real still off the edge here. Two goals, 24 seconds. It's doable. But so strange. It's almost like we have a team of keep it real. Only really been looking for people who can shoot. Because my goodness, can they? They do have a lot of offensive skill on their side. But their defense just isn't strong enough. And against the lowest seed, maybe it'll work out for you. But I think going into the rest of this tournament, they genuinely need to worry. Oh my goodness, I thought Matthew was going to get a pancake then. Quite. They will... Game... Oh, I think it was best of five. Yep. Gary clearly annoyed with the quick chats. I'm pretty sure quick chatting isn't against the rules. But, I mean... You know, I'm, I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> Now, honestly, as I was just saying, keep it real. It, it's not a bad start for them, obviously. It's a great start for them. They, they are taking these games. They are in a position where they're looking to reverse, uh, sorry, to sweep here. And that's a good sign. Right? That is a great sign if they can get an early sweep to boost their confidence going into the next round. But I genuinely, I, 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 I'm not entirely sure how the, uh, obviously how the rest of the teams are going to be looking like in this. But if the Ascended tier is anywhere near as competitive as perhaps it's been in previous iterations of side tourneys, I don't think the defensive keep it real is enough to keep them alive, even if their offense is strong. Because you need to have a good mixture of both to really have a strong Rocket League side. I think keep it real could get far, but their defense, I do believe, needs to improve slightly if they're actually looking to win this, which they should be as the top seed. Bocci wants to end this as soon as possible. A great dunk from Jerk off of Rupa. Bocci finds it on the line and brings his team within inches of glory in round one. A bit of a scramble to get that out of the keep of real defense. It does work out in the end though. Rupa actually opting to pass it back. A little bit awkward there. Rupa, oh no! Bunchy finds a brace. Not even a minute in. Rupa looking to pass it back to Gary. But the pass was not exemplary. He's practically set up his team to fail there. And keep it real. Now 2-0, no, surely not! No, it's, it's practically over Team Aku Aku in this round one. Never say never, is what I like to say. But I think Keep It Real might just be a different level to them. Going into this, I had hopes after game one, you know, have a close series here as 10 goals coming out and oh my goodness, it's utter decimation here from Keep It Real. Seeing shot after shot, and this time they actually are practically scoring every single attempt they have. Four goals now within the first minute for the blue side. Aku Aku just can't respond, unfortunately. Unable to find anything really all that threatening. They haven't really had a single threatening attack here in game three. Real just running away with it. Actually, this might be a chance here. Gary's shot, not quite enough power. Nor quite enough accuracy into a corner. Find its way past the defense. You're cooking here from Keep It Real. Surely not. Oh, it's disgusting. They're playing with their food at this point. Utterly disgusting. You think Massey's going to shoot it there? No, he passes back to Jerk. And then Monchi actually steals that away to make it 5-0. Gotta say, a brilliant passing play there for Keep It Real. 
They already know they've won. The confidence is oozing from them there. You think Matian probably could have just slammed it in himself. Opted to keep the passing play going. And look at that. Jerk was up there. God, they're going for blimming clips at this point. Aku Aku just cannot respond to the chance of Thiago. The shot not enough to get past Matian. Ponchi comes in with the demo. Rupert actually with a chance here. Can he put the shot on it? Wasn't the best of collections with it. But he does find the back of the net. Four goals in two minutes 59. It is doable. Like I say, keep it real. I expect them to keep the lead. Aku Aku will most likely have to make a lower bracket run. Perhaps to form me a Cloud9 Season 6 kind of scenario. Keep it real's offense has just been far too much for them to handle. With half the game remaining, it would take a bit of a miracle here for Aku Aku. They'd have to come up with one of the best reverse sweeps you'd probably ever see. Matty and now going up for this, and yeah, in the open net, almost actually doesn't find the back of the net. The post almost denying him a sixth goal. Keep it real, we'll be looking to find the Brazil here in game three. Finds the hit from Uber. Get the reset. Yes, he does. Does he get the other reset? Oh my goodness. Yes, he does. But that probably, honestly, would have probably been goal of the tournament. Straight off the bat. Right there. Goal of the tournament there from Monchi. If he had, a if he was able to pull a double reset. Wasn't quite there for him, unfortunately. I'm sure he won't mind all that much because it is looking like maybe 7-1. Monchi passed it into the middle. No one quite there for the pre-jump coming out, I think, maybe, from Matty. Jerk fifties that well into the middle. Gary's up for it first, but with only a minute and thirty-six seconds remaining. The Makuaku haven't been able to apply the pressure in the blue half that they needed to in order to keep themselves alive in the winner's bracket. Not been the best of series for them, but that I mean you can't really blame them all too much. They are against the highest seed, it's a tough one to face. But they need to basically to keep their heads high going into the lowest bracket. They can't let this get them down. Let's see. Only hit it as far as Rupert. Double tap now made for Rupert. He will find connection with it. It wasn't very powerful. It didn't need to be very powerful. And again, four goals and 55. It's doable. It's certainly doable. But I don't see it happening for Team Aku Aku. Punchy. Going for maybe a pinch here, though. Actually, just opt to go for the bounce shot. Matian is up for it. Gary. Exemplary clearance there. Punchy not able to get the touch with Rupert. Will actually get a shot saved by Jerk. Despite having the lead that they have, they're not letting up. Not allowing any kind of rebuttal from Team Aku Aku. The defence from Keep It Real still not exactly the strongest thing I've ever seen. But it has seemed to be stronger during Game 3. But I'd argue they also have faced less offensive attacks. Team Aku Aku, I, I think, have probably, to an extent, given up. As the clock trickles down to the 10 second countdown. One last chance for a goal, maybe. From Team Aku Aku, the ball still in the blue half. Jerk able to get a clearance here. Gary maybe can get into the middle. Can't really get a connection with it. The clock hits zero. And a series, you must say, was a convincing win. But keep it real. Sweeping the lowest seed all the way down to the loser's bracket. Just go into the Discord now to report. Oh, actually, no, that's good Discord to report the score. We have a handy little thing. Start.gg <laughs> Meaning I can go keep it real Oh For uh, against team Aku Aku <laughs> 